you love the ease of flat pack, but want the charm of a bespoke handcrafted piece. I'm going to show you how you can have both. Sixty-six percent of people who bought furniture in the past year bought flat pack, and over half said price was a factor. I'm in Peterborough to meet Sam, whose partner Danny has recently moved in along with all his flat pack, which could do with some upcycling. Now, if you've never done any upcycling before, it can sound a bit scary. Actually, it's really good fun. How can I help? What's been going wrong? My style of furniture, with it being an old house, has been kind of solid wood furniture. Danny came from a new build property. Lots of his furniture was very modern, flat pack stuff. So we bought the two houses together. And I think it's fair to say, at the time, we just moved all Danny's stuff upstairs and haven't really known what to do with it since. I've invested a lot of time and effort into putting them together. So just to put them, to chuck them away, doesn't seem quite, quite right. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's have a look. OK, let's go. Danny's flat packs are everywhere, including here in the dining room. The first flat pack I ever actually bought, so right. I've had this over for, for 10 years now. It's actually perfect for us because we eat in here all the time, to be honest, and you just fold it in and out as you need to. But with a little customization, this can become the proud centerpiece of the room. Believe it or not, 30% of us already customize our furniture. And that's your fact. Personalising it can be very straightforward. So I'm going to be giving it a go. With any luck, the remaining 70% might follow soon. But when it comes to furniture design, I think I need an expert. Furniture maker Jay Blades is on hand to work his magic. This table, but you can see the problem. It doesn't, it doesn't fit with the style. There's no consistent theme. Yeah. They like the table. They use it a lot. Okay. They want to keep it. So I'm going to turn it into a table rug. So normally people would have a rug in the centre of a room and it would be the feature, but I'm going to make the table a feature. Um, I know, it sounds weird, but it's the, new, it's the new thinking. I'm loving the way that you seem to be able to transform the features yeah. that we don't really want to look at. So rather than trying to hide it or, or do something about it, just make it a feature and it just looks... I think it would look quite cool, actually. Let's get started. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And imagine that fully extended. Yeah. Paste it down and then you varnish it so it's durable. It's important to get the basics right when upcycling. Mastering these skills will give you the confidence to open up that world. Sanding, for example, can be simple but can easily go wrong. The first stage is to sand the tabletop down, but not all sandpaper is the same. Start with a low grade to scratch away the surface, then smooth it out with a high grade. And just go up and down, always going. With the grain. With the grain. Yeah. How are we getting on, then? I think that's done, actually. Happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just got to clean it off and that's it. Danny and Sam's styles are totally different, but as Jay shows, a simple bit of upcycling will open up a world of fresh new looks for any piece of furniture. The only limit is your own imagination. If a wallpaper table isn't your thing, why not try a family photo collage instead? Stick them onto a tabletop and varnish over to seal. Coat one side of a flat pack bookcase with blackboard paint to create a quirky notice board or personalise a chest of drawers with stencils and paint. We're also giving the other wooden surfaces a coat of white chalk paint. It's a fantastically easy way to give the whole room a new look. Sam's next flat pack issue is in the guest bedroom. I get embarrassed when people come to stay because they can see all our stuff. And I'd much rather it was hidden away. My personal opinion is that these belong in the garage not in a bedroom. So it's Jay to the rescue. A lot of people have a unit just like this, but we're going to try and make it a feature so people will see it and say, wow, yeah. um, I could do that. What can we do? Jazz it up a bit with some paint and just um, add some colour in and get the units here organised. So basically having storage units for all of the stuff that they've got. Turn the unit around. I want to turn this over there yeah. and allow the bed to come this I way. I thought this way would be yeah. a much better way for yeah. the bed. It's it? a lot better. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. Let's get cracking. OK. So make sure it's just spread. And we're not trying to make it full on white. We'll, we'll do that as the coats come along. So I'm going to use the upcyclers must have. Chalk paint. Fill at work, you see? Upcycling. 
Kirsty would be proud of me, Jay. She would be. We're also optimising the storage space in the cupboard and adding extra lighting to make guests feel more at home. Earlier, Sam was despairing over Danny's imposing flat pack furniture. But we've taken one of a million tables and turned it into a one in a million stylish table. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, that's oh beautiful! Oh, my God! The large shelving unit, which dominated the guest bedroom, has also been transformed. And the difference is dramatic. The clutter has been cleared into deep boxes, we've moved the bed and unit to make the room feel more spacious, and these matching photo frames makes the whole room feel personal and welcoming. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's oh lovely. My... That, that looks sad. so much better, doesn't it? And so yeah. different. And it's like, have you seen, like, the colours on the, each of the... on the end of the shelves? Like, the white and the green to bring, actually, all together? Yeah, no, it's, it's brilliant. Got a card. Dear Sorry. Sam and Danny, hope you enjoy your new look furniture. All the very best, Phil. Oh. oh, thank you. Terrific to see Danny and Sam's reaction. And I think there are three things that we've all learned. Be bold. Taking a chance with other materials can really make the boring beautiful. Rearrange. The joy of flat pack is that it's not heavy. You can easily move it to give the room a fresh look. And even the simplest things can make a big difference. A straightforward paint job can make something familiar feel completely unique. Have fun. It's your house and your style.